So, when is a vibrato not a vibrato? And when is a bridge not a bridge? I'll tell you when it is. It's when it's a VS100N with a reverse left-handed thread in there. So you can add this, the Wilkinson convertible arm. The convertible arm opens all options to you. Tuning stability, also them whammy bar tricks that you want to do. So for instance, if you want to be more of a country type player, you can get those chordal bends in there. But as you can see at the end of that phrase, I'm be able to bend the chords. But when I hit the chord, add vibrato to my chord as well. Now the reason being, when I drop the arm, the bridge locks in place, but when I lift it up, it becomes free again. So you're not overcompensating for unison bends that we always do when we're playing rock stuff. If you want to go for that, you're usually having to slightly bend everything on that B string to compensate, but because the bridge is fixed, it's now in tune. How easy is that? Again, all a simple movement of holding the bar and dropping it. As you could see in the tune before, you're able to do string bends and other strings stay in tune, as you can hear. There's no bend in that E string, but if I lift the arm up, can hear how the bridge gives. So if you've got a floating bridge without a convertible arm, you're always going to be fighting that tuning. I mean, other things that you can do with the convertible bridge that you can't do with, say, your standard floating bridge, is that you can change your tuning and not worry that the whole thing will need resetting. So if you take your E string, and take it down to a low D, and say for all you slide players out there, you can see it's not harmed it, it's stayed in tune and it's stayed right. I can take it back up and the other thing, as I talked about country players before, take it back up there to your standard E, you can bend behind the nut without the other strings going out of tune. something you can't do with your floating bridges or your tremolos with your locking nuts. The convertible arm gives you this versatility. And of course it does, as it says on the tin, if I wanted to, you know... still do all that. It's all in your hands. It's all there and simply done with this brilliant bit of engineering from our man Trev. So I've been Samuel Sealing. This is the convertible arm and this is how a vibrato is not a vibrato and when a bridge is not a bridge.